Let's recall the definition of a derivative. It's this limit of ratios, and we call a function for which this limit exists, differentiable at a. This limit is the instantaneous rate of change of f at a, and we interpreted this in the car example as being the speed of the car at a particular moment. This made sense as far as we took it, but let's look at a slightly different example. Let's still look at f of t equals t squared. Last time we determined f prime of 5, this time let's find f prime of negative 5. Using nearly identical steps, we find that it's negative 10. But what does it mean for speed to be negative 10 feet per second? What does negative speed mean? Well, since speed can't be negative, we must be talking about something else. In fact, we're talking about velocity. Velocity is speed and direction. Let's suppose that the car moves forward for a bit and then moves backward. On the left is the graph of the velocity, which is positive while the car is moving forward and negative while it's moving backward. On the right is the graph of the speed, which is always positive. That's the graph of the speedometer readings. Velocity tells us not just a magnitude, but also a direction. Since velocity can be negative, we can convey forward motion versus backward motion in addition to the magnitude of motion, which is the speed. In this context, note that speed is just the absolute value of velocity. Remember now the original car example, where we assumed that the car was traveling on a straight road. We did that because we're using a single number to represent velocity, and the most we can say about direction is forward or backward. If we want to talk about a car traveling in two dimensions, then we need a second variable. We can still analyze motion along a path like this with one variable, but it'll be indistinguishable from a straight path. We can also look at things like angular motion, or anything else where we can make a meaningful distinction between forward and backward. Keep in mind, though, that an equation such as this which we can interpret as the car's position in terms of time, and an equation such as this, which we can interpret as an angle measure in terms of some variable x, aren't distinguishable without context.